Oh man, we got Charleston White back. And what's crazy is we have an interview with him currently rolling. So we're going to have two interviews going at once. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Um, but, you know, this is the first time I've seen man, Charleston White Man, we can't White make wearing... this short, man. This got, to be, this got to be like how it is. We can't come in and just play half a game. We got to play full four quarter. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen you with some slacks. You got the button, the button down tee with the tie. Yeah, yeah. This this how I dress during the week now. I've been up there. Uh, with them millionaires and billionaire Jews and white boys, I got to peek over the mountain that Dr. King got to look over. They let me look behind the curtain. Hey, man, speaking of millionaires and billionaires, man, we seen you in Vegas. With Dana White, all them, big white boys. No niggas nowhere. I seen two niggas, uh, and they looked like they were 65 plus. Why were you out in Vegas, man? When, when, when we seen you out in Vegas, we thought you were, um, we thought you were paid to be there. We didn't know, we didn't, you know, Explain that whole situation. Uh, I was paid $5,000 to do an hour video. Uh, I guess the numbers on an hour video was so good, uh, they kept wanting me to be back day after day after day after day. So I didn't have an idea who Aiden Ross was until three, day, three to four days ago, who he really was. Uh, he's a 22-year-old white Jewish kid, homie. Nothing in my world is in the white people. Especially not a white kid like that, who my kids them watch. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a, so I don't know who he is. So when I do that, that the interview with him when he hang up with me with Bronny, I don't know who he is. But I know for the last four or five months, he been trying to get me to do a streaming podcast with him on on, a, on Discord. So that's where he was throwing me off, nigga. I'm a YouTube. Uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, nigga. You trying to take me on Discord. That's like trying to get a nigga on the boat and not return back from slavery. So, and then when I went and looked on his page, he was a young white boy. So I thought it was one of them bot pages. Hmm. So when he finally get my attention, he said, hey, I'll give you $5,000. I said, shit, cool. So I get on there, do my thing, but I'm paying attention to the type of questions he's asking me. He said, hey, do you like Jews? I heard you don't like Jews. I said, I don't like nobody. Jews, niggas, Asians, blacks, whites, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, dogs, horses, fish, roaches, worms, butterflies, ants. Nigga, I don't like nothing. Nigga, I done said fuck all that. God, Jesus, Mohammed, Buddhist, uh, the devil, everything. Nigga, I, I ain't never not said nothing about nothing. So... He said, okay, fine, that makes sense. So he said, do you like gays? I said, no, I hate gays. I'm a gay bashing ass nigga. We used to kick gays ass for no reason. Yeah. So he said, why? So we go on for about that. So we go on to the brony conversation. He hang up. So they want me to come back the next day. They, want, they said it was going to be a guy. I said, no, nah, man, I'm cool. I really didn't feel like it. Were they trying to pay you for that night too? No, that's what I was paying attention to. Mm. So, but now it's going viral and everybody calling me saying, hey man, he's the biggest motherfucking streamer in the world. He might be trying to get you a deal. So now I got all the niggas who know about him pumping me up. Yeah, nigga, yeah, to go, yeah, pumping me up. And I just, I'm blindly pumped up. I don't know nothing about no streaming, nigga. I'm a nigga on the internet talking. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so now nah, I don't know nothing about streaming, my nigga. So everybody calling me. They won't stop calling me. My son calling me. My friend that's a judge. His kids. So I'm saying, well, shit. I'm thinking purpose, right? I ain't thinking money. Nigga, I'm saying between me and Say Cheese TV, outside of Disney and Nickelodeon, we have the largest urban youth audience in America. That's a fact. I tap into this white boy, I get to tap into the youth of the world. He yeah. like Disney. For real. So I'm not thinking money. I'm thinking about all these young people, minds and hearts that I can come play uncle and have access to. Right. So it's everybody in my ear saying money, 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 money. I'm thinking relationship, 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 because God is in the relationships, my nigga. Mm. 
the relationships just last. So everybody else saying money, 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 money. I ain't thinking money. But one of his managers is texting, uh, Aiden wants to give you a deal. I think he wants to give you a deal. In my mind, they lying. Now, I think everybody bullshitting. If you want to give me a deal, show me. Don't tell How me. How big of a deal are we talking? They ain't saying no number. That's why I'm saying they bullshitting. And they texting. So I'm from a world where motherfuckers call and talk deals. So I'm really not taking none of it serious. Plus they young white boys. So the third day, I'm trying to build a relationship in my mind. Hey, um, now we nephew and um. Hey, um, get on. I think he said it was going to be a dude on there or something. And I was somewhat tired. That's why I was laying down on there with the motherfucker. So in my mind, I don't know this a I'm thinking this is one of that new shit, that artificial intelligence shit where you can blow a motherfucking head up, make their neck. I'm thinking they done made a Goonies character with that, with the, with the, with the filters. So if you see me, I raise up like, man, what y'all, you playing with me? God damn, it's that white boy shit. Technology shit. So they said, no, nah, that's a real person. Man, I raise up. I said, well, let me fix the Wi-Fi. Oh. Uh, Man, when I realized that was a real person, my mind saying, what is that? What is that? That's a it. So I said, man, is that a man or a woman? Oh, I'm a transgender. That's why I say, stand up. Let me see how this bad bitch motherfucker, this motherfucker too wide in the camera, too close up on the camera. That's how big hoes take pictures. Bag up. You too motherfucking wide to be this motherfucker. Oh, that's why. That's how you can tell fat hoe. Because they won't never bag up from the camera to let you see their <laughs> ankles and knees. <laughs> what a be cute in the motherfucker up close with them shoulders, <laughs> titties perked up, makeup done good, eyelashes. And that's a wide body. Facts. Yeah. And I just want to say... Uh, my grandmama told me that the devil is the master of deception. So any fat bitch doing that is, is demonic. Step back, bitch, let a nigga see. <laughs> so, hey, we got so, love. So hey, listen, hey, hey, we, we got love for the big women, though, man. We got love lie. for the big women. It, me and you don't. It's some niggas that do, but me and you ain't the kind of niggas that roll in with big women. <laughs> You lying, motherfucker. For the, That's for when the we sake was of in my, high school. That's yo, when we was the, in high school, and the old niggas was telling us that pussy ain't got no face. And four, five little young boy line up to fuck Big Susie, and when we go to school, we act like we don't even know her. We talk about her, and all us fuck her every day, and don't nobody in the school know. Yeah, but but for the sake of my channel, man, uh, shout out to shout out to the big women. Shout out to him, big bitch. Yeah, yeah, nigga. Uh, where we come from, we talk about big motherfuckers. They talk about skinny motherfuckers. Talk most, about shout out. Where we come from, everybody get talked about for nothing. A cute motherfucker get talked about. Motherfucker try to find something on a pretty motherfucker just to, yeah, to make them insecure. That's how it yeah. is down off in the ghetto. Uh-huh. So you got to get so, used to it if that's where you go play it and hang it. And I like playing and hanging down here with these motherfuckers. So after so after you you you're on I guess you're all y'all on stream. Hold on, let the... me let me give you a chronological time order. Okay. So the the first day is questioning me about hate. So okay, he see I'm not hateful. He see that I don't hate Jews. Well, why don't you like King Vaughn? I say because King Vaughn is classified as a serial killer according to the FBI. Crime reports. He killed black people. Why do you like him? You're a Jewish kid. Oh, I like King Von. Well, I met some of his victims, talked to some of the victim people. I met Tuka's mother. Why don't you come over here and get on Tuka's mother's side? As a Jewish kid, why are you embracing the killing part and not the upstanding part? Jew kid? I'm confused in a motherfucker. So, but I'm taking note. So now we get past that, okay, unks don't hate Jews. I told him I've never even met a Jew. I don't even know what a Jew look like. Nigga, we don't see Jews down south. Facts. We don't know what a Jewish person. Nigga, we don't. I don't know. Nigga, I just started hearing the word Jew three years ago. Growing up as a kid, I never heard that word. So I got some old people that's in their 70s saying that that Bible is not for us. 
that God and Jesus is not for us. He for the Jew. He ain't for black people. So don't read that Bible. Don't read that book. We not in that book. It's the Jews and Palestinians. That ain't us. So don't pay attention to that book. Fuck that Bible. Fuck that Jesus and God talk, my nigga. He was a Jew. We ain't no motherfucking Jew. Straight up nigga mistreated slave babies and seeds. We are not descendants of Africans. We are slave descendants, nigga. Them people had no name. No religion, no documentation on what God they believed in. They, they wore and, and, and bore a spirit. They had the kind of spirit where they can be mistreated and they wouldn't even come in and sneak in the house and do nothing wrong to you. They turned the other cheek. Nigga, they humbleness, they dignity, they integrity, they tenacity. Got us here, nigga, not fighting back. Loving the motherfucker that still mistreated you. Is we sick today, master? Is we house burning, master? Is we dying, master? Still love that motherfucker, homie? That's what got us here. This new group ain't got no love, but they in that book. Holland, we Israelites. Homie, them people had a spirit, nigga, that withstood slavery. We ain't got no book that can help us stand nothing. So, so hold on, right? So this Jew kid is pressing me by Jew. We get past the Jewism. Now it's about gayism. So I tell him, yeah, I hate gays. I don't bother them. I don't go out looking for them. But if a gay man is in this room and all us straight and he show any feminine tendency, get your ass out of here, punk. But a real gay man is not going to remain gay around all straight mans if ain't none of them f***ing him. Mm. Or if he don't think none of them will fuck him. He going to run. Those two spirits don't coexist together. So, he, so I let him know up front, yeah, I hate gays, man. I bash him like a motherfucker. Pick on them, bully them, mistreat them, say hateful things about them. So, okay, so why would you put me on the camera with a trans? I immediately hang up when he say I'm a trans. And I send him a text message. I say, damn, nephew, why you trying to make Unc look hateful? Mm. That's the text message. That's the documentation. Why you trying to make Unc look hateful, man? I told you I don't like him. The fourth day, hey, Unc, I got the island boys on. I said, man, I don't want to be on there with them motherfucking incest kissing ass punk ass boy. And he just come out talking about he on the top. No, no, Unc, you got to come on. I'm not coming on. So while they on, he texts me, come on, Unc, come go in on him. His manager saying, say, Aiden wants you to have no whole bars on him. So they sicking me on. So I'm going to be the pet bull. Mm. But they ain't offering me no money. So I'm saying, no, uh uh. Well, uh, -uh. But I would like to build a relationship, right? right. So he texts me, God damn it, Unc. The island boy just showed me his dick. Come on, come. I said, I don't want to be attached to that. Unk. And this was before the Vegas trip. This before the Vegas trip. Okay. So I'm saying, nephew, I don't want to be attached to that gay shit, my nigga. Why you keep putting no, all, man? Bring me back when they ain't on there. So they tricked me to put me on there with them niggas. I hang up. I text the manager. You lied to me. So we already starting off bad. All this is documented. I said, you lied to me, man. Y'all, oh, come on. It's just going to be you and him, you and Aiden, just you and Aiden. The chat room love you. Aiden crowd, it's 75,000 people in here waiting on you. Don't they love you? I'm saying all kids, man, let me go on over there. This is a, this is a pawn. This is like nigga resources from the ground you can cipher. Mm -hmm. So aunt coming over here to be on. We have a good time. Do numbers that night. They hit me back. Say, hey, Aiden like to offer you a deal. Would you come to Vegas? He like to offer you a streaming deal with Kick. I got the message. I said, yeah, she said, come on. We go up there. I don't take no security. Uh, I go by myself with, a, with, 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 my, with my companion. Uh, and nigga, uh, 
They pick us up from the airport and they got three to four days of events planned for me. And I don't know what they are. I didn't sign a non-disclosure. I didn't sign no uh, uh, authorization form to release nothing, to keep the cameras in my face, to go do this, do this, do this, do this. I didn't sign nothing. Did they, did they make you? Did they try to make you? They didn't even offer it. Okay, cool. So I'm saying shame on them for not offering it. Right? Uh, they don't even tell me what we're doing. They don't even tell me what we're doing, homie. Before I even fly out, they send me my a screenshot of my flight information. I don't even know what airline I'm flying. It just say the, the confirmation number. I got a call say, man, I'm at the airport. Love Field. What, what, what's my airline? Oh, hold on, man. So we in the group text. Charleston's at the airport. What's the airline? I sent it to him. You didn't tell me the airline, man. So I'm telling myself, man, these kids, I'm dealing with these young millionaire kids. So I got to come be responsible too with these motherfuckers. So they say Southwest. Get on Southwest. What's my hotel? So I said, I ain't trusting this shit. So before I get on a plane, I book my shit at the Trump. Because they ain't telling me where I'm. No, the motherfuckers tell them, say, man, somebody go pick you up. Woo, woo, woo. So I take all my weapons that I normally take with me. Because I'm getting signs say, hey, man, he fuck with a lot of rappers. He doing this. I'm already seeing how they booking me to get here. This could be some shady shit. Hmm. Man, this ain't, this ain't how you interact with a motherfucker doing business. Talking about a streaming deal. Just in case it is, I'll voice my concerns when I get there. And I'm voicing my concerns in text messages. Letting them know, hey, man, I'm a grown man. I'm really a business professional guy. I don't operate like this. My life in y'all hands with no security coming to the West Coast. Coming to the West Coast. So when we get there, we land and say, hey, is the guy going to be looking for you, such, such, such? I'm looking for the car. The nigga get out the car. He already went. Hey, what's up, Charleston? Cool, brother. We get the luggage, get in. Say, man, take me to the Trump Hotel. Oh, no, they got you booked over here. Where is that? Summon in the Red Rock. Where they said, oh, it's, it's a, outside of Vegas. So they took me to a very secluded and excluded, uh, high-end, uh, very, very affluent uh, resort in Vegas, uh, the Red Rock. Yep. Uh, I didn't see no black people. Uh, I hardly seen any women. But there was a lot of rich men. <laughs> uh, so, so when I get there, they tell me check in at the, at the front desk. When I get at the front desk, hand them my ID, they looking at me crazy. Uh, is it in another name? Nigga, y'all don't, man, I'm Charles the White. Y'all don't, nigga, I'm feeling embarrassed now. Man, they treat me like I'm Bosco. <laughs> nigga, they treat me like I'm Bosco, my nigga. So, I'm mad in the motherfucker now. I call fussing and cussing and I say, man, now listen, I'm a grown, man, y'all go, man, come on, my nigga. Y'all ain't even got this kind of courtesy. Oh, man, it was the cameraman. Why is the cameraman doing, come on, now you got the janitor up here, uh, doing payroll? You done got, you got the janitor doing payroll. So now that all the keys down there, oh, come on, man, they playing with me now. So now I'm on guard now, homie. Right. Be because nothing's professional enough to say, relax, homie, this is even, so, yeah, yeah, homie. So uh, we go to the mall. Hey, Unc, I'm going to take What was that experience like when y'all were out in public? Hold on, listen. Hey, Unc, I want to take you shopping. Nigga, I don't want to go shopping. What kind of nigga? What, nigga, I don't want to go shopping. Unc, I want to buy you some shoes. I don't want no shoes. I wear Vans. I wear Vans. Unc, what kind of clothes? I wear nigga clothes. You what? I wear nigga clothes. Where they sell that at? They don't sell them in stores. No, nah, man. I already saw... The interview where 50 Cent said that's what P. Diddy and them tried to do to him, take him shopping. I'm already hip, nigga. I'm, I'm already hip. So he's saying, come on, let me just, come on. We're gonna, I just, just, I said, man, I don't wear Michael Jordan tennis shoe. Them get out of jail shoe. Without a, that's a public defender parachute. 
He said, well, well, you can get some Air Force One. I say them some going to jail tennis shoes. Every nigga I see in the holding tank got them fresh pearl motherfucking Air Force Ones on, trying to keep them clean in the holding tank. So you got them public defender shoes, them Michael Jordan tennis shoes. He asked me what kind of shoes them is. I say them the niggas just got out of jail shoes, though. Most of the niggas I see going to court in them hallway or uh, going to stand off in the side to talk to the public defender got on Michael Jordan tennis shoes. So he's, I say, okay, they trying to mack on me. So I'm going to play on. I'm going to let them see I'm really a good nigga. They can get along with me. Uh, I'm professional to work with. Uh, everything turned gay. Conversation turned gay. Hey, Unc, if you was a girl, man, I can't even think if I was a girl. I ain't a girl. Uh, so when we get to the mall, what, what surprised Aiden Ross was uh, just as many people were stopping me to take pictures with me as they were with him. Uh, he's a sharp kid because he noticed the age difference. He noticed the age demographics. But the powers to be look at my demographics and see that my analytical data goes from 13 down to 65 plus. Not many streamers and platformers have that range of an audience. Mm -hmm. 13 down to 65 plus. My audience would never sit and watch Aiden Ross. His audience would laugh at me all day long. Mm -hmm. But if we partner together, all of my billion TikTok views, all of my two billion Say Cheese TV views, my bill, all of them would come over here to kick. And we would conquer the internet. With these two, and we got great chemistry, like George Jefferson and Archie Bunker, all in the family, in modern day time. Except I'm Archie Bunker, the black dude. Look how times have changed. And he's more like George Jefferson, enjoying the new money. Come on now. Perfect scenario, perfect combination. I don't know I'm being played on though. I'm genuinely there thinking I'm there for a streaming deal and to build a relationship with this kid to show him I ain't what I am on the internet. So within 10 minutes of being at the mall, uh, take, we take about five to six pictures. All of a sudden I see this tall, uh, uh, the wannabe image gangster look. The dreads, the King Von dreads, the diamond chains, uh, sweatpants, you know, tattoos, the Nipsey tattoos on the face. Uh, I didn't know they started wearing the Tupac earring nose. The, the, so he immediately say, hey, hey, yo, Prime, this my unk. He never say, hey, Prime. He never say, hey, Charleston, this is Prime. So I don't know who this dude is. I know he's in a threatening manner. And when I tried to shake his hand, he said, no, nah, fuck that. So as I tried to shake his hand, he didn't watch me reach in my pocket with the same hand I tried to shake it with. He was trying to play tough and scare me. And he scared me when he didn't shake my hand. He didn't scare me with the tough guy talk. He scared me when he didn't shake my hand. I became alarmed. So I immediately reached in my pocket and grabbed a weapon, a non-lethal weapon that causes great harm, excruciating pain. And he was about to get it. Aiden stepped back with the cameras rolling. What I paid very close attention to is that his security guards never made any attempt to protect me. That was my, fir I, that was my first note I took. So I, when we went back to the room and I got back with them, I went and put every weapon that I had in my pocket and I had on sweatpants and they didn't have a clue. I had five weapons in my pocket. They didn't have a clue until I jokingly showed them. Oh, shit. I was psychologically letting them know, nigga. I ain't just out here empty handed because I never felt easy from that point on. So if you go watch it, you can tell I was never easy. I don't know what they trying to play on me, homie. Why would he do this? He don't know me. And I would fit a mace that nigga. The nigga Prime said, no, 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 I'm just playing. Because he saw I was serious. So? 
Eight of them was sitting back for the let this nigga get tore his ass up. I got that bad motherfucker too, boy. Ooh, I got that bad motherfucker. The kids for the feel it. The old women in this motherfucker for the feel it. But I'm afraid at this point when I shoot it. So I'm justified. If you're going to do this to me, let me know so I can be in on it and nobody gets hurt. Because he was fit to get hurt along with some other people out of fear. Fear of being harmed and hurt and fear of being publicly humiliated. You can't play with me like that. See, I, I'm, not a, I, I'm not a dangerous person. Uh, I, I, I'm not a violent person and I'm not an aggressive person. But if you scare me, I become, I, I, I become dangerous and I can do violent things. Just to stop you from hurting me. I don't give a damn about winning no motherfucking fight if I can put your eye out like mine. If I can slice your face, nigga, and leave a scar across your eye and your nose. It's that a nigga funny. named Anthony Ray right now, homie, one of the Hollywood rapists. A big old nigga. He fresh out of prison one time. I tried to get that nigga, that, I tried to get that nigga a job working at them MHMR group homes. And so he called me one day. Uh, and I hung the phone up in his face. And he was the nigga at the trap that if you came over and owe money, they sick him on you. He take you in the room, beat you up, make you holler, break your ribs. Ah, big old nigga, homie. So when I come over there, over large spot, nigga say, you notice I dropped the nigga name. Yeah, I just snitched on the nigga, little Lord, his dope spot. So listen, so the nigga say he's sitting on the cab with them big old muscles. Say, yeah, nigga. Next time I call you, you better not hang the phone up in my face. I said, what? And cell phone had just started coming out then, too. They, we was just, matter of fact, we had just started getting free service. Well, we didn't have to. Yeah, everybody had free service then. I said, nigga, what's the number now? I'm finna call you now and hang up in your face right now. Because I'm real sarcastic. He jump up with the big, try to scare me, get nose to nose. I said, nigga. And before I said, nigga, boy, them big old arm um, push me. And I go to flying. Boy, I had all kind of thoughts in my head. Uh, before I hit that motherfucking ground. Nigga, you can't whoop this big old nigga. But what's in me, man, f*** that. Man, when I ran toward that nigga, boy, he had a slow punch that would go break something on me, but it was too motherfucking slow. And I was able to duck it out of frill. I don't know how I found this picture frame, but boy, I ducked and grabbed this picture frame and hit that nigga and split all that across his face. Mm. He ran to the bathroom. When he came out, there was blood everywhere, and he looked like a raging bull. I grabbed the trail and said, say, T, y'all better get y'all, motherfucking uncle. Man, that nigga charged me, and I threw the trail at him, and he caught it in mid-air, and I took out running, left the car and every goddamn thing. Yeah, nigga, ain't been back. It's been years. I ain't, yeah, I was glad he died. Y'all glad that big old nigga died, homie? How'd he die? Oh. Uh, at the homeless shelter, living good, eating good, just of old age, had been in prison too long. Yeah, they released him in his old age. So, I'm saying to myself, they don't know me. They don't know I got this pig poker on me. They don't know I got this mace. I done gave her the knife and some mace for backup just in case she got to stab a nigga in the head to get him off of me. Man, I, I, I done already thought all this out. So when we go back to the hotel, when I come in the car, I see the nigga steady fucking with me. You know, like, you know how they do the new guy in the crew that they think they can bully and pick on? You know, he little old man. They treat me like the dope fiend uncle. I ain't had a haircut. I'm looking bummy in the motherfucker. So he trying to big six me and chili dog me in front of the white boy. This is the moment I had a disdain for that nigga, and I knew I was going to get into it with him. He pressing me about the snitching shit. I said, because we was taught it, and you was taught too. Nigga, don't act like you wasn't taught right from wrong. Watch the video. That nigga said, oh, no, I was taught. My grandma, he said, I said, man, your grandmama didn't teach you that. And he said, yes, she did. This is how I know he was a liar. He said, I can call her right now. Prom said, uh, Aiden said, call her. Homie. They put a black woman, a grandmother, 
They want the world and the culture to believe that our grandmothers uphold this bullshit. And I'm saying to myself, why is this Jewish kid promoting this part of our culture? Homie, I was sitting there hoping that this black grandmother did not say, yeah, I taught them not to snitch. He said, grandmama, if you, and I'm glad he used this scenario because this is what make white folks open their arms up and allow us to live in their neighborhoods and safely and peacefully live and go to school with their kids and not judge us based on what they think about us on stereotype. He said, grandmother, if you saw somebody breaking into your neighbor's house, would you say something? She said, yeah. I sit out the window all the time looking for it. Oh, grandmama. I said, grandmama, your grandson, because I know one thing, grandmama's still in the hood. Grandmama's still in the hood, nigga. Why you up here trying to promote this bullshit, nigga? Nigga, I work with kids, nigga. I told y'all I didn't even want to come here because my friend had just been murdered by some kids that I worked with. Fed, gay jobs too, nigga. Over at the Hyped About Hype Youth Outreach with Jesse and Mr. Michael Moore. They went and robbed my nigga, homie. He gave them everything they had. The Rolex. And they still killed him. He would have gave them niggas the money, homie, without the pistol in their face. But what it showed me is these young niggas don't honor nothing good. They damn sure don't honor a good mother, a good grandmother, a good teacher, a good neighbor, a good nigga. They don't honor nothing good, homie, because they don't know nothing good to honor. Because what we've been propagating and projecting to them. So I say, Grandmama, yo, what this nigga up here, Grandmama, in front of all these rich Jew white folk playing like he gangster and you done raised him to be gangster. She said, nah. I said, I know he didn't, Grandma. Most black children were not raised to uphold street cultures, nigga. Who broke this TV? And everybody sitting there quiet. All right, everybody, I'm going to start whooping ass. Nigga, about, if it's seven kids in there, by the time they get to that third motherfucker and they ass getting towed up, they start telling. Oh, I didn't do it now, they did. They, we were raised to tell, nigga. That's why first 48, go get his mama. Go get his grandmama. Go get his girlfriend. Baby, you better tell him I'm about to have this baby. You better tell him. Come on, homie. Because what they know, where was them niggas at when there wasn't no bread on this table? Where was this nigga at when I had to sell some nigga to move to this neighborhood where y'all at trying to play gangster? Took them beatings from that dope dealer nigga while y'all trying to play gangster in this well-to-do neighborhood. The nigga, I didn't know the nigga prime. So think about this, my nigga. I don't know nothing about none of these motherfuckers I'm in the car with. I'm looking at this older black brother with this gray beard I'm looking him in his eyes because I know he's a father and I know he's a grandfather. I'm trying to connect with what kind of spirit he got. He let me hug him. He smiled when I look at him. So I said, I might be a little safe. I'm looking at this other nigga. He won't make eye contact with me. And if he do, he try to look through me. He won't shake my hand. He won't greet me. And he won't smile at me. That's the nigga that'll let the play go down. But I noticed in every instance, their security never jumped to stop nothing, to defuse nothing, nor to protect me. My cameraman Cash fly in. He's a licensed CHL holder in most states in America. So he comes strapped. A little bit more safety, because we don't know what situation we're in, homie. And they set these stages up for me. So I hear the nigga Prime tell him, yeah, I was texting you in the mall. Uh, I, didn't, you, I didn't know. So yeah, homie. So in my mind, okay, that was an attempt to publicly humiliate me and make me look like a weenie ass nigga. I said to myself, I said, oh, they think Uncle Weenie. Oh, they think Uncle Clown ass nigga. Nah, 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 nah. So they said, okay, we got another thing set up. So, nigga, they got events set up. Events, events, event at event, event after event. Dick's Resorts. I'm noticing everything is about gay. So, when that nigga do that to this grandmama, homie, he play a King Vaughn song. That nigga did all kind of gay movements and dancing, and then that nigga laid on the back. And boy, that nigga laid on the back and put that booty hole to the Put his legs up in there, 
and, and, and boy wiggle <laughs> like how them girls do when you press it off in them and they like it, that nigga put that booty hole to the arm. Like in a female position. Oh, no. Nah. And then he jumped up and knocked my, knocked my hat off my head. I said, oh, he picking on me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get him before I leave. I'd already made my mind. I'm going to get, because he picking on me, homie. He getting in front of these white boys trying to big dog me. And I see this nigga ain't the kind of big dog. Nah, homie, you ain't this kind of nigga that can do. A, and plus, I'm twice your age, little homie. Show a little respect, homie. You go just, you go do me? Come on, homie. So I said, okay, this the first day. I'm gonna go alone to get alone. And Show no me. women there at all. No women, no women in sight. Hold up, nigga, no women in sight. I'm gonna go alone to get alone to show the powers to be that I can play well with others. Oh, I can be the butt of the jokes and not get mad. First out, so we go to dicks. I got all my weapons on dick because I'm still on guard. I see this nigga steady fuck. The whole time he fucking with me. And I hear him whispering in Aiden's ear saying, look, Aiden, I can get him going. Look, Aiden, watch this, watch this. I said, so I'm saying, oh, they got him, the nigga that can crack the whip, that can run fast to catch the runaway slave. That's what this nigga here for. I'm peeping the dynamics. The manager giving orders. No, no, Aiden fuck with me. Aiden fucking with me, homie. He love me. That nigga seeing how much Aiden fucking with me. And I like Aiden. Till I start seeing too much gay shit. It was never no break on the gayism. It was 24-7. It was like playing, it was like playing against a basketball team. They run a full court press the whole four quarter. They do this the whole game. <laughs> you think they ain't gonna call no turnovers? That's what it was like, homie. So I said, I said, okay. I'm trying to ignore this nigga, cause I see he the, he the porch monkey. He ain't a house nigga, he a porch monkey. He got on too much jewelry, he too icy to be a house nigga. He a porch monkey. You won't, don't forget to tell him about the gun line, bro. He like, he sleep next to the dog on the porch with the rifle. So you don't get up there to mass a house and knock on the door. Fuck you on with boss nigga. Him and the dog wake up soon as you step soon as you step on the wood on the porch. He a porch monkey, nigga. So I'm a 46-year-old nigga, nigga, that trained government officials. You think I can't recognize the dynamics of these undeveloped brain children? I testify in court on these undeveloped brains. I'm just going along with it. I'm playing alone to go alone to get alone and show I can play well with others. That I'm really not hateful. I'm just playing. I can play however y'all want me to play. Just pay me for how y'all want me to play. But if y'all don't pay me, I don't get no script, then I get to play mean, hateful, racist, rapist, killer, whatever I want to play. This is my stage. My fans love this shit. So when we, so when we get the dicks, hey, Unc, you want a big dick? Man, what? No, nah, I want a strawberry lemonade. Why would y'all take me to a restaurant where they talk to you like this and not tell me? Unless y'all trying to paint me in an ugly picture. You want me to go in on the island boys. You want me to go in on the transsexual. But you don't want me to go in on Jews. So you, so you got a porch monkey. Now I'm your attack dog. They gonna make me the attack dog. Because I can verbally assassinate people. They go sick me on, so they sicking me on people, homie. So, if, if, if anybody want to see the genuineness of, of, of who I am, you see me say, well, shit, can I be mean too? Because, nigga, I'm big on customer service. And I'm big on a, so a hoe talking to me like, yeah, my woman can't talk to me like that. For a, what? No, women and ladies don't talk like this. Even if they had the opportunity to talk like this. They too sweet to. They'll try, but they ain't gonna be, man, they writing gay shit on the hats. Every nigga got a gay. So I'm saying, man, come on now. So let me bring some of this ignorant nigga. Say, get my drink, shit. We ain't fucking hoe. Yeah, 
yeah, let me bring some of this ism. Ty, yeah, yeah, slap a bitch in the mouth, that kind of nigga. Kick a bitch in the ass. And when our brothers and them come over there, whoop, whoop him too. And when the daddy confront, whoop him too. And slap grandmama because she hollering. Them the kind of uncles I saw. Now, nah, nigga, them the kind of uncles and granddaddies I seen, my nigga. A whoop the bitch. Her brother, her daddy, shoot up the grandmama house. This was in the 80s. You can't tell me how to treat my bitch. This is my bitch. Kind of teaching I come up under, but I'm not that kind of man. I understand the difference between a woman, actions, the lady, uh, actions of a lady, a bitch in her attitude, a hoe who hoeing, and a prostitute who just selling. And I get along with them all, nigga. So for them to not know me, not know anything about my background, fly me up here for a streaming deal, I said, listen, my motto is, I'm going to let you f*** me before I f*** you. So when I start going crazy, don't get mad. Don't get mad. So when I went to Holland, f*** the Jews, f*** all that, Homie, they done, they done fuck me. I done watched them get a million dollar content, homie. I never asked for no money. So if we walking through the mall, he said, hey, um, I'll give you $2,000. You take a picture with them. I said, take a picture with who? It's them two punk ass Chip and Dale dancers with them fluffed up uh, band man Kiwi muscle. Looking fine in the motherfucker with them fluffed up band man Kiwi muscle with their shirt off. Paying tight in the motherfucker like them Armani jeans. They said, yeah, come take a picture with her. I said, nah, nigga, we all go take a picture, nephew. Come on. And I want my $2,000, nigga, because you said it. I didn't ask for it. Because I told him, I don't want your money, Aiden. Nigga, I'm just trying to get to know you. Yeah, I, I told him, I, I don't want your money. Because I see uh, he's throwing his money around. That's, yeah, nigga, that's how the pimps do for it. Yeah, so I, nah, I come for the deal. But I also teach me the knowledge. So... Tell me about streaming. Break it down to me. Bring me up to par. Uh, tell me about gaming. So as he's trying to buy me shoes, I'm saying, shit, my nigga, if you want to buy me some, get me a PS5 and turn me into a gamer. Mm. That's where the PS5 come from. Give me the game, nigga. Don't give me this shit you get these niggas. Give me the game. Because a people will perish from a lack of knowledge. I come for the knowledge, young brother. So the whole time, you never asked him. Y'all never talked about the contract. Nah. You so, never asked him. You so, never so tried I, to. So listen, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a chronological order. Eventually, yeah. I did ask him. That third day, that, 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 that third day, the night before we're going to leave, before I get into it with him, I said, hey, we done played around enough. When do you and I sit down and talk about the deal? He said, oh, we, we got one more day of streaming. And then we'll talk then. I said, oh, they playing with me. They playing mm -hmm. with me. But I'm cool, though. I'm, you know, I, I don't want to. I'm trying to make sure I'm not overreacting. So Wait, I, gave so, him, well, I know you're going in order. But in hindsight, looking back, do you think that they were even ever going to offer you a deal? Or were you were an experiment? I was an experiment. When that first day they saw them numbers, they went ape shit crazy. Just think, when I finally went and looked at those numbers, it was 12, 1 o'clock in Vegas. It was 97, 98,000 people tuned in live then. Imagine what time it was in the rest of the world. I said, whoa. So I started asking a bunch of questions. Let me take you before they took me there. So, homie, it's... So at, at, at Dick's, I felt like they was trying to public humiliate me. It's the Dick's restaurant. You want a big dick? How that dick tastes? Um, and everything's about gay. So you hear me saying stuff like, nah, man, I don't want to think about dick. God damn, man, stop being gay. So you hear me saying something each time. But I see the nigga is more directing it at me. So me and Aiden just hanging and kicking. The nigga with me and poking the bear saying Aiden say this Aiden say this me and Aiden just kicking it 
The other white guys ain't saying nothing. They laughing. We having fun. It's the nigga, homie, trying to chili dog the old dope fiend uncle. Get the last pick. You know, the yeah, I'm going alone. And I'm saying to myself, me and him go bump heads before I leave. I'm going to, yeah, because I see the energy he bringing toward me. So when Aiden say, I'll give you the 2000 I said, because you said it as a man, homie, I want it. Did he give it to you? He never gave it to me. Mm. So, when it, so, so, peep game, so we all take the picture. We go back to the hotel. We've been to Dick's. We're finna go to the hotel. Aiden say, come on, Uncle, I'm finna go gambling. So now we go to the gambling spot. Dana White there. He said, hey, Unc, come gamble with me. But nigga, we been filming for so long, I want to go take a weed break. He say, Unc, just come stand next to the table. Man, every time I win, I'm going to give you some chips too. Nigga, by the time I smoked two blunts, he won over $100,000. Mm. Wow. I could have been standing there. But I'm trying to show him I'm not that kind of nigga. You can't, you can't be bought. Well, I have integrity. I come with my own shit already going. You won't respect me. You'll treat me like you treat Prime if I do this. Mm. I seen my guy B. Lou was there. Was uh, he, cool, how, how cool, was that? Cool young brother. Cool, cool young brother. Cool young brother. Uh, uh, laid back. Uh, very, very reserved. Uh, he checked that gay shit too. Uh, you know, he laughed and went along, but he, 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 oh, no, no, you know, he, he, he rebuttaled it. He rejected it. So when we gambling, uh, I noticed that Prime and, uh, they hanging around standing at the table. There's a Pakistanian other streamer YouTuber that does the, that does the uh, cool young brother. Uh, he does the, the, the sports betting, makes millions doing it. The XPQC blonde hair motherfucker, he at the table. They betting hundreds of thousands. I'm looking over there at Prime because I didn't come back from smoking two blunts. Aiden done told me how much he done made. I'm, say, I'm looking at Prime saying, why this nigga ain't on her betting like these? Why he on the sideline with all them jewelries and diamonds and iced out watch on? Why that nigga on the sideline? I'm a game related nigga, not a gang related nigga. He, he gang gang. I'm game game. <laughs> he playing gangster. I'm playing gangster. That's game real. applied means elevation. So I'm asking questions. So when we go upstairs, they got a whole nother skit for me. This is where my mind, they trying to put me in a ritual. You got snakes. You got wine, girls, uh, fruit. Uh, you got a feast table prepared. It's a, it's a, what, five to $10,000 a night, uh, a suite, six, seven bedrooms, balcony, uh, and no girls except these two whores they brought for Charleston. Two white whores at that. And Charleston and I already been online, how he done rape white bitches. Boy, they mm. trying to set this nigga up. Tried to frame you. I didn't eat anything. If y'all see how I was looking at that blonde her white boy. Yo, this sounds like the Get Out movie. You ever watched the Get Out movie? No, nah, no. Nah. You might want no. to go watch it, man. Uh, you probably <laughs> So 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 listen, so when they take me upstairs, I said, God damn, Aiden, why I ain't staying up here? He said, Oh, next time, Monk, you, you're gonna work your way up here. I said, No, I'm all right where I'm at. That's a bad motherfucker down there too, boy. Shit. You can keep me in the basement. The basement clean too now, nigga. So why, yeah. Why you didn't eat nothing? Why you didn't eat nothing? Oh, uh, nigga, I was taught by old nigga, you don't eat nothing white folks I already have prepared for you, nigga. That you didn't see them cook. You don't know when they go pause in you. Nigga, that's how Vladimir Putin get all his enemies. Nigga, invite them out and pause them. You don't know who killed them, the cook or who. You don't know who go put glass in the food, in the, in the salad, nigga. You don't know who go put the pause in the drink where you can't come back no more, nigga. You don't know who go put something in your drink. You end up in a room, two white girls naked. They hollering, Ray, Ray, and you waking up saying, what, what, what? You don't know when they go Tupac you, nigga. You don't know when they go 12 years of slavery. That's how that nigga ended up in slavery 12 years, eating with them white folk, woke up in chains. I saw the movie. I've been learning from the old niggas. When did white folks start cooking for niggas? And it's already set out on the table. Nigga, I walk with a different kind of spirit. 
and they dangling this shit out in front of me. While they trying to feed me food and fuck on these white holes, I'm looking at this motherfucking big ass box with nothing but lights in it. And it's looking like some from heaven. I was like, hey man, what's that? That's the PC for you to stream, huh? I'm having you one built. I said, whoa, niggas don't know nothing about this. Keep asking questions, nigga, they give you a little knowledge. What else I'm gonna need? You're gonna need a server too, huh? But no, nah, listen, I'm gonna tell them I'm gay. Listen, nigga, why you gonna tell them you gay? Nigga, this two bitches here. I got one dick. I can't f two bitches with my one dick. That whole hand's gonna be everywhere. You keep her occupied, I got the other bitch. You heard me saying that in the microphone. I'm treating him like an uncle, nine, uh, 21, treating his 16, 17 year old nephew, got him selling dope, fucking over him, having fun with him, half ass paying him. So I'm having that kind of relationship where we having fun like a motherfucker. The nigga on the sideline, I'm watching the nigga because the nigga brought the energy already. So I'm watching how he moving, what he's saying. I'm paying for every clothes. So they say, hey, um, we got a game that we're going to play. We're going to blindfold you. And you're going to put your hands in this box while you're blindfold, and you're going to try to feel and see what's in it. I said, I'm out. Nah. I'm out. Wow. I ain't blindfolding myself with all these white people in the room. You heard me say that. And this is on stream. This is on stream. Nigga, we streamed for 12 hours, 14 hours straight, like a movie marathon, and hundreds of thousands of people was tuned in the entire time because they loved Charleston White and Aiden Ross together. They said this was golden, this was heaven, this is what we needed. We do something we never, homie, his fans was going crazy over Unk. And I'm, I'm being an unk that every nigga would want to have. But it started going weird, homie. Man, they know niggas don't like snakes. But if you want what they got for you, you will touch a snake. I'm never touching a snake. Unless it done got on me and I'm trying to get it off of me. You said you had uh, your companion with you. Was she yeah. having weird vibes too? Huh? Did your companion have any weird vibes as well? Yeah, she was looking at me crazy. Like, what the hell are you doing here? She said, she said, in the midst of all this, if you go with this, you gay, nigga. I mean, you better shut up. I ain't give a fuck you talking about. Man, he said white. I start, I, at some point, I started defending Aiden them. Man, he said white boy like the college frat. She looking me upside my head and said, this shit is too Lord, you. I'm trying to tell her, come on, let's just get through this day. Maybe they stop. Maybe when the <laughs> nigga, it never stop. <laughs> Me and her getting into it. Because I'm trying to say, no, it ain't what. Man, but you know, them women can see it before we can see it. Yeah. She saying, nigga, if you sign with this, you gay. Because no straight nigga would. I'm saying, man, I'm uncomfortable too. But let me just, goddamn, maybe when the camera come off. I thought when B-Lo came, it was going to be a, a, a chill. He brought a different energy. But shit, nigga, he... Man, Aiden and his boys, homie, they run the show. So I say, man, I'm out. I'm not putting, I'm not putting no blindfold on. Cause at this point, I'm afraid y'all might got real dicks in the bowl. Deal though. Black deal though. So I'm gonna reach in there. Oh man, y'all done put a deal though in my hand. Hold up. Um, take off the blindfold. You know how white boy play. So nigga, when I step back, they start putting snakes out there. Not one snake, two snakes, three snakes, four snakes. Do they bite? Yeah, they bite, but they're not poisonous. Well, if this motherfucker bite me, it's gonna pierce my skin and it's gonna draw blood. Am I unintentionally, uh, unknowingly making a blood sacrifice if I reach in there blindfolded and one of these bitches bite me, a snake? Why snakes? Why is this meat that the blonde her Canadian white boy, that bitch is bloody red and he putting ketchup on it? That's why I was staring at him like that, saying he looked like a fucking beast eating that bloody red meat. Man, I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> and these white hoes next to me talking about, do I suck dick? They asked you that? They asked all of us that. She said, oh yeah, he sucks dick. So... The nigga, I, I said, no, 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 baby, I don't, I don't, man, I don't, I barely eat. She said, what? I said, no, I don't even fuck barely good. Aiden said, yeah, Uncle, you do fuck good. 
I jump on. Hey, man, I'm up, goddamn, man. You gonna make people think I done put that torpedo on, goddamn, man. What you doing? The prime nigga say, Unk, do f good, though. Come on, man. Don't, why y'all doing the Unk like this, man? My nigga, I got to go back and talk to kids in two days. Y'all gonna do me like this. And first thing, I'm gonna send you the video, homie. We're talking to the kids at the youth facility. First thing, the kids say, hey, I, I said, do y'all know me? I, I saw you with Aiden Ross. Come on, my nigga, y'all go do unk like this, and I'm telling y'all must don't know who unk is. So I give y'all the benefit of the doubt. Y'all ain't looked and seen. Come on, man. So I let them make it that first day, homie. They sick the two white girls, homie. And I noticed when they was done with the two white girls, they didn't let them white bitches hang around so a nigga could try to fuck on them. They kicked them bitches out. Made them leave immediately. And I'm saying, so I'm, they fit to go downstairs. They already been drinking their dicks. They fit to go downstairs, gamble some more, drink some more, win, and go out. When do the girls come? We're with multi-millionaire, 22, 23-year-old white boy who dicks get hard for nothing. They been gay games all day long. Okay, cut. Y'all, we for the party like a motherfucker. Go get our dicks up. We for the have or where, where was that shit at? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It was no girls, homie, amongst all this money. And everybody got on brand new tennis shoes, jewelry, necklaces. Why you got this on and ain't no bitches around? So when that white boy, XPQ, whatever his motherfucking name is, when he stood up and said, I kissed this person. I kissed that person. I kissed this person. I got up from the goddamn table and said, man, I'm not having no parts of this. He said, that's not gay. Aiden said, well, hey, me and you kiss Q. He said, so they don't make us gay. We're two friends. But they want to make me gay for sending my dick to somebody. What, what day was this? This was day three? This was day one. Oh, my God. I would have left then. Come on, homie. I got everybody saying it's a big bag at the end. I got everybody done went and looked at white boy. Everybody, everybody, pistol guard and everybody. Man, stay, get the money. I got niggas coming in from L.A. rooting men, niggas saying, oh, we done made it. And we done made it. <laughs> I don't want to let everybody down, but nigga, I'm not pulling this dick out so these white boys can touch it, suck it, fuck it, fuck me, kiss me. If I submit, I'm in. I'm gonna be a part of the, I'm gonna be part of this this gay alone gang. This gay alone gang. So the white boy say that. I said, man, I'm not sitting at this table. Cause now I done got frustrated for real. Man, it's too many kids watching for y'all to casually say kissing boys ain't gay. I said, no wonder these island boys kissing. And I start thinking, man, why he keep putting gay shit before me? Are they pressing me with this shit? So I'm saying, no, nah, man. So the nigga, the second day, nigga, we got so much content, they had to go get this battery pack. Cause we, they had to go get this battery pack. Nigga, they want this content so bad. Aiden flew one of his white boys from Vegas to one of them Asian spots in the hood and company to go get this battery pack so we can travel alone. That's why it wasn't no day two. But... While we chilling, they hit me up all day long, nigga. Come to the pool. The cabana. Hey, uh, we're at the cabana. My L.A. niggas come in. I feel like they playing on me a little bit. Say, man, that's such a me later. Man, he make video. He make, I'm like, nigga, let me go in first, nigga. Goddamn, I'm thinking y'all done scared the white boys off. Nigga, let me go in first. All y'all done showed up. I said, oh, nigga, everybody playing on you, nigga. Keep playing dumb. Yeah, let everybody keep exposing themselves. Just keep playing dumb, Charles. Keep blind man shuffling, nigga. Keep playing blind. Because they think you can't see. But, nigga, you got a spiritual sight that most people is unaware of. So, eight of them steady hitting me up telling me to come to the pool. By the time I'm coming to the pool, they already drunk and gone. They still ain't got no girls. I don't want to just hang with you, Aiden. In my mind, I'm her own business to talk a deal. 
this day too. So I go to the cabana. The L.A. niggas that was trying to hang with me bring some more niggas. I said, man, it's a goddamn sausage fist. I get mad, <laughs> don't want to shake hands. I break bad on everybody. I break bad. I don't, this is a motherfucking sausage fist, nigga. I told my son, if I buy you a car, you put a nigga in this car, I'm taking it from him. I better not ever catch you ride with no nigga. No car, I done bought you, nigga. You want a nigga to ride with you, you buy your own car. My son don't ride with niggas. Two or more niggas ain't got no business doing nothing if they ain't robbing and stealing somewhere across the railroad track. Coming back, splitting the money up, going separate ways. Hanging with no niggas. So I make all them niggas leave. Now I'm mad. So now I'm saying, man, this white boy just got me down here, man. He ain't giving me no schedule. I'm just hanging. I said, okay, this the second day. So then he finally hit me. Well, yeah, I'm, man, I'm downstairs, but this is his manager. Hey, man, we sending a van to come get you. The van come get the cameraman and leave me. Uncle, I thought you was in the van. I said, man, y'all got poor communication skills. I've been telling y'all the whole time y'all young, but I'm being patient with y'all, homie. So the van come back and get me. I get in the van. We go to one of them casinos. The battery pack still not working. They still can't get it working. Everybody is sad. The motherfucker, these cameras can't come on. I, but you know what I did, right? I paid attention to what I was threatened by, that nigga. See, every time we separated and came back, my first move was to observe this nigga before I engaged. I noticed he was tired. I said, oh, that nigga probably popped pills because he didn't have that hyped up energy. He was like he was sleepy. I said, they either putting that dick in him or he been fucking all night on them pills. Eight of them was more business. I hadn't saw eight of them more business because they needed that battery pack to work. They need this Charleston White content, nigga. They probably made over a million, two million dollars in one day that first day. With Charleston White. Man, let them eat out for me, nigga. They making me a household name. And they're making me likable. He's really likable. So... So this is a reality television of Charleston White and Aiden Ross that the world is loving. And this dude is on the sideline. He don't got no input about the cameras. He can't work a camera. He's he just a gimmick. So we go back to the hotel. Uh, hey, um, we finna gamble. Man, I don't gamble, man. God damn. Man, I'm gonna go up and give me some weed, man. Woo, 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 woo. I go up, you know, do my thing. We separate. Why That's don't you I gamble? Why, wait, why don't you gamble? Uh. Uh, I heard Bugsy Siegel uh, during a documentary of, of Building Vegas. Uh, the mafia said, Bugsy Siegel said, gambling is for suckers in Vegas. The house always wins. And I don't want to be a sucker. I want to I, I wanna be the, one of the sharpest tools in the toolbox. So when I feel like somebody playing me as a sucker, homie, uh, I get little man syndrome. I get, I get real, yeah. So, uh, so, I don't do nothing that second day. So that third day, I'm saying, okay, we've been here three days. We still ain't talking no business, no nothing. What's up, Aiden? When we go sit down one-on-one? -on -one? Um, this the last day of streaming. Come down and such and such, but they're not telling me day-to-day -day what we got planned. I'm, I'm a 46-year-old man, homie. At the mercy and beholding to 22-year-old acting ass kids. Playing with me. Then brought in a wannabe Chicago nigga trying to bully me. And if you watch the stream, you can see it. Homie, one thing you do, you don't knock no old nigga hat off his head. And I ain't had no motherfucking haircut, nigga. Got me looking like a nigga smoke dope like a motherfucker. I'm up there with that hair. I ain't had no haircut because, nigga, I'm coming to talk business. I ain't coming to look pretty. I come to talk business. So I go get clean for the second day thinking we gonna be out doing something. Um, go talk to pimp talk. Go teach Aiden how to be pimpish and not gayish. So the third day, nigga, I'm frustrated. But that night I couldn't sleep. Every time I went to sleep and closed my eyes, I was seeing things but couldn't see things. I'm gonna say this again, homie. 
I was closing my eyes trying to go to sleep. I was seeing things but couldn't see things. Mm. And I began to feel closed in. I, mentally, I started feeling like I was being a cage, a, a, a door was encaging me. I said, man, I got to go. What, what? Man, I, I got to go downstairs and smoke or something. I had to get outside. Uh, I had an overwhelming feeling of, of, of being captured. And, and, and that was my sign. Tell me something ain't right about this. It's been too much gay shit from the time you got here. They're not taking you serious. He ain't talking business. Every more, when they talking deals, it's in text messages. It ain't in phone conversations. They dangling that motherfucking carrot out on you, nigga. Running you through a tester. What kind of girls you like, huh? I don't. I like the one that's with me. What kind of clothes you like? I don't. If I gave you 100000 what you would do with it? Give it away. Do you drink? No. Well, let's drink, huh? No. You, want, you drank that big dick, you go get drunk. Strawberry lemonade, please. Uh, I'm past the brain development where they are. So if anybody at Kick is watching this, if y'all want me, y'all surely can't not be taking me serious to send a 22-year-old to come get me. And y'all hear the type of shit I say. Y'all got to know I'm much more intelligent than this. A 22-year-old with an undeveloped brain. It's just like the movie Toy. With, 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 with the movie Toy, the white kid said, Dad, I want a human toy. And the daddy went and bought a nigga, Richard Pryor. And that white boy had a human toy, and his toy got, he got to jail. When that, when that little white boy started getting 15, 16, that boy started fucking his toy during the slavery times. The little white boy who got to grow up with the black slave, whether it's a little black girl or it's a little black boy, they played by themselves a lot. And the little black white boy got to have his way with the black slave as if it was the toy. Look, children are very experimental. They ain't gay. They experimental. They don't have a foundation that's concrete. So... That's what they was doing to me. And that's what they do to these rappers. The Jewish elites, children like these niggas. The owners tolerate these niggas because they are good business investments and good business products and ventures. That's it. But you don't talk about them at the table. You don't talk, you don't turn it off. You don't know. When your grandmother's here, you don't play that shit. They don't come over here when grandpa's here. Do you hear me? So I get it. I don't want 30 million, nigga. I don't want to have to do what you have to do to get 30 million. Give me five. Might not got to do that much for five. They might just want my Leroy cousin that's been stealing from everybody household at every family get together, they might just want me to sacrifice one of these cousins I don't like. I might got an auntie that I just put on the, put on the chopping block <laughs> with, for five million. I might got to catch a charge. I might got to get beat up publicly. I take that for five million. Running down the street, got me running, screaming. I take that, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to go that high, my nigga. I don't want to get too far away from my people. Where I'm so high up that they done brought me, they can always hold the threat of, you want to fall back down there? That's a long way to go, brother. That's how they did Kanye. He went from being a billionaire to a non-billionaire overnight because he said something wrong, not because he done something illegal. I don't want to be that nigga. I think, a, I think I can stand on enough black people's shoulders to touch five million selling that show fucking with these ignorant motherfucking niggas that might shoot up a few shows. I think we can do that. But nigga, what I showed them, nigga, I, I, I so, so let me get to the, to the, to the, to the, I want to, I want to keep this chronologically. So when I wake up the next day, Unk ain't playing no more. Unk ain't playing no more. I'm, I, my spirit kicking. I'm feeling like I done been played on. 
Ain't nobody talking about no deal. No, man, come on. So ain't nobody. Here. Everything about for them. So okay, I'll let y'all get y'all content. So we go film one last day, huh? And then we go talk. I'm going to take this fucking. Because if nothing else, nigga, you got some knowledge of PC. You're going to need a server, a microphone. You got a PS5. You can start gaming. You already know which platform to go to. That's a great start, my nigga. You got enough knowledge to go build from there. So if you don't get nothing else, nigga, you got enough knowledge to go build, nigga. Start building. So when they come down and get me, I notice that they're never organized. The, the young guys, I get it. The nigga cool. I bump into him first. Him and the security guard. Security guard still don't really want to shake my hand, but I forced them nigga say, what's up, brother? What's up, soul? The prime nigga cool. Y'all notice he said, man, when the camera's off, you real in the motherfucker. But when the camera's on, you acting like That's what it's for, nigga. Not to be real on camera. I never want to be real on camera. I might say some real shit, but nigga, I ain't trying to be real on camera, nigga, because I'm real in real life. Oh, uh, so when they come with the cameras, the night before, Prime told Aiden, because Prime is feeding Aiden the questions to ask me, the narratives and scenarios. Hey, we gonna put him like this, like I'm King Von Cuz. Aiden don't know what to do with me, homie. He don't know what to do with me because he don't know my background. He don't know nothing about me. And the character is, is too ah for Aiden to deal with it just him by himself. So he got to get to know me through his porch monkey. Yeah, uh, he, 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 like, he like the dog, homie. They come up and sniff on you. Get your scent first. Make sure you're all right for you can come up on the porch and f*** the owner. So that's what he's there for. That's why he get into it with every guest that that may be opposing to him or 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 uh or he feels threatened by because he saw Aiden really taking a liking to me. Mm. How'd y'all get on the Ben Man Kevo uh picture? Uh because uh because because uh because Prom sent that to him, right? So what Prom is trying to do is he's saying all this stuff about we being gay, we being gay. We being gay, he sent his dick to Bam Man Kiwi. Uh, I sent that in a disrespectful manner, nigga. Well, he sent a jacking out picture. No, I didn't. I dangled it, nigga. I didn't jack it out. I dangled it. <laughs> what the fuck? So, 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 check game. So, I'm saying, so this is what's making me mad. Homie, you around white boys acting gay 24-7. Why you speaking on what's gay with me? Let me and him do this interview so we can get great content. Because it's fit to get funny. If, 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 if you get out the way, Prom, this shit fit to get funny. I'm fit to do the shit he was doing. Uh, you know how the, the, the videos he was sending me. Man, that nigga lift some shit up that was so goddamn big. I think Jack Boy wanted to know he was strong. Man, that nigga lift some shit up. I say, man, that nigga can lift a car. Till I started boxing and working out in the gym and they got some weights that look big. Like, God damn it, I can't lift that. And I be hitting that bitch like I'm a, I said, oh, that's what he was doing. He tricked me. Just like he tricked them girl when, when they rub his stomach and it feel like cardboard. <laughs> that ain't skin. Yeah, that ain't skin, nigga. So, so now, so he, so Aiden say, no, Prime sent me the video that you sent Kev in. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm saying, nigga, why are you so amped up about this? Get out the way. Let me answer the question. So we can talk to the camera. That's why I kept grabbing the camera. I don't want to keep going back and forward with this nigga. That's why, I, that's why the people in the comments say, oh, it was God glad. I was grabbing the camera because I want to engage them, not this sucker that's in the way of us fucking with them. We here for them, nigga. But he blocking the show. Nigga, I done turned this whole band man, Kiwi, dick, nigga, nigga, the audience go crazy when I tell. So I already know these little, they go crazy. He come with this energy on the dead homies. You already been fucking with me for two days, nigga. 
Now, this has been the same, this is the third day, you still got this energy, nigga. Yeah, yeah, now nah, I, nah, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing, nigga. So I'm From looking at Aiden, at this point saying, Aiden, I thought I'm here for business. Did y'all, are y'all staging this for me? Because y'all tried to do this once. Are you doing this for me and him to fall out so we don't never get to talk business? So, all kind of shit going through my mind. All kind was, of shit going through my mind. It so, was but, funny. The, but, <laughs> but, but hold on, but check game, homie. This nigga saying threatening shit to a grown man. I'm still saying, come on, homie. Uh, uh, you for get you for get the character out of character. So I didn't have no knife on me, but just to let you know, I know that psychological shit work. I showed him so many weapons. That knife is so big, it's psychologically fuck a nigga up. Nigga, that pig mm. poker motherfucker. That's why I do that, homie. It psychologically freezes a nigga and make him think. His first thought, you got that knife. Now you hear me say, I got that mace and I'm going to use it. Then I'm going to start punching. See? I don't know where you young niggas get off looking for a fur fight. When will fight fur? If you niggas want a fur fight, go box. Because there's rules in boxing. It ain't no rules in harming one another, nigga. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to wait. I ain't got to do nothing. I want the ups. The police job and job description is always to remain in a superior position when they dealing with us. That's why, they always, that's why they're so intimidating. So I know nigga these knives and this shit intimidate these niggas because they don't know how to respond to them. That's why he ran from that mace, homie. If he was a thoroughbred stomp down nigga, he wouldn't have run from no mace, nigga. He, it, he, he wouldn't even took his jacket off. When niggas want to fight, they don't take their jacket off, nigga. They just go to swinging. And he in flip-flops. But what I noticed again, the security never responded to protect me. Everybody had to hold him back. Everybody had to hold him back. He still got the aggressiveness. He's still making a big old scene. I want to know what he's so mad about me sending Bad Man Kiwi my dick for. When he on a video with dancing and wrestling with the transsexual with the little nigga Speed. With they shirts off. Relaxed and calm like they nuts been put on flat. They just come out the room smelling like booty. Smell like booty with that, with that, with that girl boy. Hey, the, it... it it took you a while to turn up more, you know, because I know you personally. You usually, you're a firecracker sometimes. But on that day, it took you a, a lot longer to turn up. Oh, uh, because I'm trying to analyze. I, uh, I can overreact sometimes, homie. Uh, I want to be logical. Uh, am I being played on? Because, nigga, at this point, nigga, I've been f***ed over and used a lot. So in my mind, everybody playing. But I'm willing to be played on and used. Just don't misuse me. Cause while you playing on me and use me, I'm gonna be asking questions. What's that? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna steal some knowledge while you're using me. So it's cool. Just don't misuse me. So when I start feeling like I'm being misused, you letting this guy threaten me. And even at some point, Aiden was like, yeah, yeah, come on now. I saw he didn't have no backbone with his hood nigga friend. And I said, no, nah, this is not a good relationship for me to be in, homie. Because the nigga will bully him. And that's what made me say, oh, no, nah, he jealous of this, Aiden. Because I seen it at that point. Nigga, you ain't nobody. Homie, they booked me for a deal. You ain't got a deal. Nigga, you complaining and crying about, I had $1,000. I bet $1,000 won 5000 um, I played the 5000 back and lost it. I said, you dumbass, nigga, they bet millions. When Aiden said, I'll give you money, nah, homie, I'm watching you gamble 200000 on the table. If you give me 50000 that's like getting eating the bone and throwing it on the floor and let the dog eat it. Teach me how to play. Teach me how to play, because I see you keep winning. Teach me how to play, if you really like me. Mm. See, he gave Prime a fish. He didn't teach him how to fish. That's why Prime was doing more talking, interacting, than recording content for his own channel. 
My little mama was recording content for, for, for yeah, that was the cameraman for some, some more channels. And then I flew my cameraman in for our B-roll. And you for to get the B-roll, well, you got the B-roll or the police kicking it in. I went and looked up, a, I went and looked up the most recent lawsuit. Uh, somebody won almost $2 million for the police being called on them in a hotel where they was already staying and being made to leave for trespassing exactly like they done me. I've already spoke to an attorney that's ready to take the case. So, uh, uh, I feel like I was subjected to something, homie. With, with not being notified if this is what I wanted to do because I'm thinking I'm coming for a streaming deal. Only to have the police called on me. When he's upstairs threatening me and I'm downstairs playing a character that I was brought out here to play. I wasn't threatening nobody. That's the character. I do these same skits on stage. Same skits at home. For the post, he's up there saying, nigga, I know where you at. I don't know where he at. They're texting me saying, hey, prime is gone, man. Come on, we need you for the day. We need more footage for the day. They're still trying to get more footage. They're still trying to get more footage. And I'm saying, nah. So I go outside to smoke. We go eat. Walk to go eat. We coming back in. Eight of them is coming out. He softly say my name to try to check the temperature. Uh, at, at this point, homie, uh, I don't want nothing to do with this kid because I'm feeling so unsafe. Homie, I don't know what kind of play that I'm, that I'm in now. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> who is it? Metro. Metro? Oh, that's the police. God damn, that's the police. That's the motherfuckers I call on King Yellow. Shit, hold on, hold on. Put up the weed. I forgot weed was legal. Yeah, I'm trying to hide the weed. I done forgot weed was legal. But, nigga, in my mind, I don't know what kind of game these millionaire people playing are these real police. These are multi-millionaire kids that can play all kind of pranks with my life, homie. And it ain't no black people here. They put black paint on my face and tried to make me dance. They thought I was a monkey, nigga, and I'm a mutton griller, a monkey gorilla, a silverback. Nigga, I done mutated to some shit at this point. So when the police come in, they're very threatening. I thank God they didn't ask to search the room. Well, do you got weapons in here? I got plenty of weapons. Here they are. Where are they? Over there. Don't, don't get them. Yeah, they're over there, over there, over there. But I didn't point to where the gun was. I don't cooperate 100%. I cooperate for my benefit. I ain't telling if I can't get out of jail. Yeah, fuck, I'm gonna tell you when I can't get out. Yeah, I cooperate for my benefit, not for them. Yeah, going over there. It wasn't until Sarge came, shout out to Sarge, that I felt like these were real police officers in relief because now they are more engaging and let me know what's going on. Do you have ID? Yes. What's your name? You ain't got to get it because it was going to make me have to go dig for it. You Charleston Jamal. What's your middle name? Yeah, yeah. Now they running my name. I already know what, I already know what they saw when they ran my name. That's why so many people came. It says homicidal and suicidal by ideation and preparation because I'm so radical with so many guns. I know the Constitution. I know black liberation literature. Uh... Uh, it's a profile on me. The FBI stopped me, homie, and went to my mother's house. So it's a profile on me. Uh, so I'm, I'm, uh, that's why I play a buffoonery character. And I ain't gonna hurt nobody, nigga. Uh, my record don't reflect that. Uh, but my rhetoric does. And, and, and based on the new FBI profiles and, and, and data collection, uh, people who talk like me have ended up becoming some of the most latest uh, mass shootings in the last 10 years. So they waiting on me to be one. But nigga, I ain't none of that. I ain't none of that. You got kicked out the hotel? Immediately, escorted out. So they was gonna, they was gonna escort me out the front door. Uh, I didn't wanna disturb the white people that was there, homie. Them people didn't come to vacate, to be alarmed by so many police officers escorting a nigga like me out the door. So I had him take me out the back door on the side. 
Shout out to Las Vegas Police Department for doing that. They gave me that courtesy. Uh, but I did nothing wrong. Had I done something wrong, they would have arrested me. You're planning to sue. You got damn right. Red Rock Resort Casino, uh, Aiden Ross uh, in the platform uh, kick. So they reach back out to me and, 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 and they want to, uh, they still want to negotiate, right? Mm -hmm. They still, let me, let me read to you what they said. Uh, but there's no way that I could deal with Aiden Ross uh, if he can't talk serious. And I don't think he can talk serious because I believe he's really gay. I think they're playing gay, but really gay and hiding behind playing gay. Because you don't see none of these multi-millionaire streaming kids, these gaming kids with no girls. Never. Never. Your testosterone levels is too high up that homie. So let me let me just read to you what, what, what they sent to me uh, the other day. So as soon as I got back, as soon as I got back, they, want, they, they wanted to get me on a live. Right? Uh... Before I left, this is what they said. You're doing a really good, this the, this the day there, homie. The first day, you're doing a really good job with content. The chat loves you, bro. Don't be afraid to go 100% unfiltered. Kick is freedom of speech. So you can do and say what you want. They want me to go in. They just don't want me to go in on the Jew or the Jewish people. I can talk about White men, white women, and white babies, and it'll play forever. I could talk about you niggas shooting y'all babies. It play forever. I could talk about Africa, North Korea. It plays forever. But if you say something about Jews and Asians, I lose everything. I've been taking note. So they hyping me up to go in, to be mean and hateful, just not against them. So they hit me back. When we come back, Unk, I'm still unk now. Do you want to get on Discord and talk about what happened tonight on stream? They think I'm done. I'm going to get on here for free. Keep getting y'all all this free content, huh? And all of y'all got YouTube channels. I'm going to keep getting. Come on, now done blessed the game long enough. Now y'all misuse me. Now I'm mad. My response is 100K for tonight's streaming. He said, you want 100 to talk to Aiden? My reply is, no, I don't want to talk to Aiden. You ask, do you want to get it? So I repeated what he said. I'm not interested in talking. We spent three days and never talked seriously. I'm not interested in anything with Aiden anymore. They think I'm the, they think I'm the prime nigga. Because these are the type of niggas they used to dealing with. Here's the counter. We will give you 5,000 to join tonight. 5,000, yes or no? Not interested. 10,000, final offer. Not interested. Okay. I was looking to build a good, now I'm fit a Mac now. Because I done done my assessment now. I was looking to build a good working relationship that eventually evolved into friendship from us doing each other right in our dealings of working together. I'm still waiting on my 2K as a man. See, people keep saying, no, nah, this is man, nigga. This the principle. You said you was going to do this. Boy, I don't need this money, nigga, but you, you brought it to me. I didn't ask, so stand on your word, son. So I see we can't. So let me just keep going. I said, I'm still waiting on my 2K he offered me out of the blue to take a picture with the two Chippendale guys. I don't want his money. I was seeking the knowledge and instructions on how to stream. I'm not a prime. You can't drop crumbs on the ground to get my attention. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So here they come with the shaming technique and tactic. I think you should clear up everything and try to figure out how to stream. Best advice to you, as if y'all trying to help me with this advice. Clear up what? Aiden asked me a question that this guy told him to ask me, and when I begin to respond, he jumps in and takes over this dialogue. So what I need to clear up, so this, this, this is what he says, he, he continues to say this. 
They hadn't said this till now. Now I'm back in Texas. This is the first time I heard this. Aiden has equity in kick. We talked about getting you a deal. It's good money. We want to help you stream. You're funny. This is a Jew. This is a Jew. This is how Jews talk. Aiden has equity in kick. We talked about getting you a deal. It's good money. We want to help you. Well, why didn't y'all help me when I was there? We want to help you stream. We never talked stream. Y'all just streamed on me. We never talked stream. You're funny. I mean, we're going to keep using you. you he don't know I heard him when he said, man, Charleston's a well of content. You know how far and deep a well go? They said everything that I was saying throughout those was going viral, homie. So look what I say. Not interested. We had three days to talk. He never mentioned anything about a streaming deal. He never mentioned anything business-wise. Now, this is top manager I'm talking to. It was all gay jokes and childish stuff. So at this point, I don't take any of you serious about anything. Here go the shaming technique again. You're missing out on a lot. I ain't missing out what I ain't never had. How I'm missing, and I don't even know what I'm missing out on. Y'all ain't telling me. Y'all talking around. What, what am I missing out on? Y'all ain't saying it. Y'all think I'm dumb. I learned reading comprehension in school. They don't, they don't really teach that anymore. They just teach reading. So a lot of niggas know how to read, but they don't, can't comprehend. So they have a hard time dialoguing and have a conversation because it's the comprehending part uh, of that, right? So he says, you're missing out on a lot of exposure and money. What money? That's your choice though. Our offer is legit. What offer? <laughs> what fucking offer? If you wish to talk tonight, call Discord so y'all can get more content. Look what I say. You guys keep saying exposure, deals, and money, but it's not talking deals and money. Fuck exposure. I don't want anything to do with or be associated. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't want anything to do with or be associated with a white Jewish kid like Aiden. I think you guys are not good for black youth nor black culture. He's a complete definition of what we call a culture vulture. And I believe he's. Am I exact word? He go on to say after about a 30 minute pause. What will it take to get you and Aiden doing content again? The world loves it, and Kick still would like to work with you. Even after I done said, fuck you, kill you, after all I done said, all this hateful rhetoric, they still make this offer. And I'm asking myself why. That must be some value over here that I don't know. This motherfucking diamond worth something. I don't even know if it's worth nothing. I'm trying to take it to the pawn shop. Man, I'm for the let them in there. I'm for they for the give that yeah. So they pursuing me too much, and I'm saying, man, why? And why are they trying to pull me this way? What I, and how did I get all these young people's attention like this? His crowd, they they've been bashing his ass because he quit me. So this is what I said. I want to talk to Kick and Aiden together. Let's do that. Wouldn't that be the first step if we're really serious about this? Unless y'all think I'm a dumb nigga. He gonna bring me in. I'm sure he gonna get a percentage. So I need to know how much percentage he gonna get for bringing me in. And for how long? What's my upfront take? And then what? Come on now. How much ownership do I have? Of my, come on now. When do we start talking like that? Oh, uh, so... Last reply was, that's fine, bro. I give you my word, I'll set it up. But I don't trust no Jew's word. Let alone a man's word. Men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. Put a number in front of me. If you look at multiple articles, um, Aiden Ross got well over 100 million with kick. I don't want that much. You don't know what kind of freak you gonna be with a hundred million, nigga. You, that's why these niggas turn that way. Man, you get a hundred million, you might not like pussy no more. Sex might not be the same at a hundred million. 
Homie, to get that much money, when it's time to leave Earth, it's like a camel trying to squeeze in the eye of a needle. That's why them motherfuckers try to give it all away before they die. Man, I don't want no hundred million. That's too far up. What kind of food you gonna eat with a hundred million? What kind of what kind of new pleasures will derive from rising so high? I don't want that, my nigga. Nigga, keep me anywhere from ten to twenty. The XQC cat signed a hundred million dollar deal too. They kiss boys. And, and, and while the nigga Prime was fucking with me by sending Band Man Kivo my dick, Aiden looked at him and said, Prime, you sent me a picture of your dick. These are homeboys doing this, homie. I'm doing this then sort of nigga I can't stand. That'll probably I'll never meet in real life. These are niggas that get drunk and play grab ass together. Wrestle with transsexion. This some different kind of shit. And I don't want to be a part of it. So I felt so uncomfortable, homie. You can visibly see it. So man, my my man, my companion said, man, I will go leave you. If you sign with them, you can't tell me you gay if you sign with them. I said, man, I can't sign with them. They never took a break. When the cameras cut, they never took a break. They never took a break. And when he described how good it felt for a large side turd to exit out his ass, I couldn't imagine going to Six Flags and playing basketball. Yeah, man, now nah, I'm doing this all the time. And this was ongoing. We three days in Vegas, my nigga. You say he got a hundred million? And what the other one got a hundred million? Where's the <laughs> We in a 10,000 a night suite with a balcony we can smoke on. It's six bedrooms. Where the bitch? We can get any kind we want. Where they at, y'all? I never seen a nigga step away and talk on the phone to a woman. I never seen them engage a woman. So when I heard Lil Yachty say one time that all he do, that he don't have sex, that he masturbate and play video games. These are the geek freaks. These are the nerd freaks. They really can't fuck with no girls, homie. The girls will be like, yeah, or trick them out the money. <laughs> they cannot naturally get girls with, with the kind of charisma. Uh, and, and, and they're not attractive. Uh, they're not attractive young guys. There's brutes. Uh, there's horse playing wrestling, uh, breaking shit. Yeah, they pushing each other shitters in. So, 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 what's the verdict? Because I never heard you talk. I never heard you stay on the same topic for four days. Like you've been talking about this since you've been back. Oh uh, yeah. What, because, what's the, what's I, the goal? I, because because uh, uh, because I want to show Jewish people they can be talked about and 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 and, 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 and what they are having done to us. I want to do to them. I want to make some Jew killing music. How can they propagate King Von and then get so scared to call the police on me and then make mockery of snitching? But they're not mentioning that I'm snitching on criminals. They snitching on me for fun and games with 10 police that could kill a nigga. So I could never go back and do nothing with them, homie. They never had my safety in mind. They never had my best interest, even a concern. So, so if, if they if want me, if so what I'm doing now, nigga, I'm Jew bashing. I'm Jew bashing. Since don't know, won't nobody else do it. I'm mad at the Jews right now. I'm mad at the when I get mad at the game bangers, I bash them, don't I? I just got a little bit more fuel because this is new. Nobody's ever done this before. I'm the first nigga to do this. Farrakhan did it. They took him off. But Farrakhan if, don't cuss. I cuss. If Kick was to hit you directly without Aiden Ross, they wanted to give you $10 million. That directly. was my request. 
You're a sharp man. You know me. That's my request. Why do I need this young overseer with an undeveloped brain that plays gay games to be between me and kick? Why not send an attorney? Why not send a kick representative? Why send this kid who got a guy who promotes gangsterism amongst rich people? I ain't never seen a nigga so gangster in the street around all these millions, homie. And he ain't got no millions. I bet if he dressed like this and changed his game, I bet he can get one of them watches like Aiden. The first thing I noticed, that nigga got diamonds all over his body. Aiden Ross got a black watch that shines just like them diamonds, but it ain't diamonds. I forgot what kind of watch he said, but that motherfucker was clean. I want that one. Anton Daniels took see, Anton Daniels would take me down at the at the uh, court side seats. And oh uh, yeah, when it, so so when I was on the court side, homie, nigga, I, I noticed everybody who had court side seats didn't have one diamond in their watch. Them niggas back there had diamonds everywhere. So I start seeing, I'm seeing, homie, I ain't, I ain't just. No, nah, nigga, I'm paying, I'm, I'm taking note. Cause somebody gotta come back and teach up somebody else, homie. Or uh, I, everybody around me go tap into this, my nigga. Are they gonna have to get from around me? Aiden haven't reached out to you since you've been home? Oh, uh, nah. Oh, uh, his feelings hurt. Yeah, his feelings is genuinely hurt. And and, and 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 he don't have the backbone to check his friend. He tried to right there on camera, but he saw his friend getting, oh, oh you all, oh, man. Oh. So, yeah. All he had to do was just let us finish this interview, homie, for these people right here. So uh, at, at this point, homie, uh, he can't be nephew no more, my nigga. He put me in these situations, man. You don't know me like this. It's too many threats on my life. Too much uh, threats done been made against me for you to bring me here no, and so I'm with no security, homie. And your security is not making sure I'm secure. So y'all gonna trip about my weapons? And I told your people, say, man, I really don't wanna come, man. I, my partner just got killed last night. Oh man, tell Aiden. Why, so he can feel sorry and give me some money? I didn't tell Aiden nothing. I'm telling you. I didn't tell Aiden nothing. So, uh, so when I went to playing in my mind the first day, the second day, and then now this, so I heard this nigga say, hey, uh, Prime sent me a video, or you, did you send Bam Man Kiwi? I said, yeah. So we began to talk, this nigga, oh, you gay? I've been waiting for this bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I'm been, I've, been waiting for, I've been waiting to come out of character on you because I've been taking it from you. I've been taking it from you, nigga. You tried to put the snakes on me. I told you I didn't want to, you gonna force these snakes on me, nigga. Okay, I, I, let, I, I kept checking shit out. So now, bitch ass nigga, yeah, yeah, whole ass, and you ain't gonna do nothing, pretty ass punk in them flip flops. You gonna put that knife, ah, oh, scared rabbit. I ain't even got the knife on me. I got that mace, hoe ass nigga. And you getting back too. But what I noticed, nigga, that Jew was gonna let it go down for the cameras. How do you feel about Case in that? Uh, black young kid from New York. Uh, he also I, I, signed I, I, a deal I don't, with. I don't know nothing about him. He signed for 40 million too with Kick. I don't know nothing about him. He just threw a giveaway in New York. I don't know. Caused the all I know is he just did that giveaway. I, all I know is he just did that giveaway. He got yeah. arrested for, but I don't know nothing else about it. I ain't never seen a video. I don't know how it sound, uh, none of that. Yeah, the streaming world is different, man. They getting, they making more than NBA players. I ain't never seen none with no girls. On their platforms, no nothing. Consonet, well, I, Consonet, he's around girls on camera. I so, don't know so, his so, private so, life. So this is what I noticed. Aiden introduces everybody to trans. That's part of the that's part of his formula. That's the experiment. Yeah. <laughs> you play with it, you lay with it. Because the more you play with it, the more sensitive you become toward it. The more you laugh at it. 
the more you become aligned with it. Nigga, that's how you get to a girl, make her laugh. That's how you get a defensive down, giggling, laughing. So, nigga, I know. And so I'm sitting back saying, if they get me, this is checkmate to black people. You know how many black people go lose hope, nigga? You know how many black, you know how many elder black people believe in me and they got a little hope they can die with it. Boy, we might be all right. We got another one of these, y'all. If they get me, homie, I help them promote. It's not homosexuality. It's gayism. It's gayism. Before we move on to the next topic, if you do plan on suing, how much are you how much are you suing for? I let the lawyers them say I don't know what to ask for, man. I'm man, I'm so distraught from the what that went on. I can't, man. I, I'm not. I can't even think money right now, my nigga. I'm just trying to gather my life back together and get. A, and get Yo, a I can mind. tell. I can tell, man. Your mind is everywhere right now. Like you just went through the twilight zone, man. Say, homie, listen. Uh, you can't tell me this wasn't no Illuminati ritual, or this ain't them coming to get me because where they took me. Are you are I, you able Are you able to sleep well at night? Hell yeah, I just couldn't sleep there. Oh, uh, because I have, I, my, my mother is proud, nigga, when she see that. The old nigga pops it, nigga, nigga, they proud of me, nigga, for walking away. And some people say, oh, man, that nigga fumbled the bag. But nigga, for the most part, my people are proud, homie. And the people that know me said I looked uncomfortable every day. And I was. I'm surprised you went out there without even a deposit, without anything, because usually uh, you get the bag before you go. Oh, uh, well, this ain't about the bag. This is about building a relationship with one of the world's most youngest streamers who've taken an interest in me, homie. Got you. I can get the bag on the back end just by meeting him and falling out with him. Uh-huh. I'm going to get a bag just by meeting For right now, my name and his name are attached to each other forever. I can't lose. But it wasn't about the money. It was about an opportunity that I saw that was presented. Nigga, I'm the new Snoop Dogg unk. This white kid got all the rappers. The rappers submit to this kid. He like me. We might can change the narrative if we all become friends. That's my angle. I'm going to get this white boy to get in the King Von shit with unk. And nigga, we gonna start doing huge events with Aiden Ross. Can you imagine how big that'll be in the hood, nigga? That's from my angle. Say Cheese TV, Aiden Ross in the hood. Not this shit. <laughs> so, Real nah, shit. homie, uh, uh, I gotta look in the mirror. And nigga, when I was looking at my, at my nigga in that casket today, I said, shit, nigga, you got to get in there too. Mm. And you got to get in there by yourself. You celebrate your birthday every year. Motherfuckers come out on your death date. And them two days don't mean shit. It's that dash in the middle, nigga. Nah, I'm, 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 it's the dash in the middle for me, my nigga. Uh, I done made it this far without a helping hand, without no industry behind me so far, homie. And we still excelling and, and, and elevating. Uh, let me just say this. I thought I would sell out. I was just talking out of anger, mad at our conditions. My spirit won't let me do it. Uh, uh, my mind want to do it, but my spirit won't. Uh, because when you sell out, you got to give in to everything they got. And so now, nah, homie, uh, I don't want to be controlled. So every time I closed my eyes while I was there, I was seeing things but couldn't see things, and I was starting to feel caged in. Uh, that was my spirit telling me to run. Run and don't look back. Just the little knowledge I got, homie, if I start a kick streaming platform within the next 30 days, uh, I'll be just as big as Aiden by Christmas. Uh, because of because of that fallout, uh, and, and it's gone so viral, it's viral every day on TikTok for what we did last week. Uh, other streaming platforms are coming out the woodwork saying, hey, shit, man, give us a chance. We'll get, we'll, well, come on, come talk to us. We'll meet your needs. 
Oh, for real? Uh, and even kick have 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 spin the block again. Uh, but I would seriously sit down and talk with them. Uh, but they have to do me like they done Aiden, homie. Put me up here where they put him, and they ain't got to give me as much money as they gave him, homie. But allow me the freedom and control uh, to go get niggas and put them on my. Pl I'm not gonna go get transsexuals. I ain't gonna go get two niggas. I ain't gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get put other kind of shit. I'm gonna go develop stars. Where it's gonna be more cockiness. It ain't gonna be a bunch of primes. I'm gonna go bright. I'm gonna go build, build stars, homie. So uh, those are my only conditions. They do me like they done him with the same freedom and control to put anybody I want to put on my platform. Uh, and I will follow whatever rules, whatever script they ask me to ask. If you give me a job, homie, I'm gonna do a good job. I'm gonna follow the rules on the job. But right now, I ain't got no job. I'm just on the internet talking, making money. And nobody's gave me a script yet. So let me just say this. So uh, a, a lot of niggas miss out on the good opportunities and they miss out on a lot of money playing for the front end money. Yep. They get the money, but they don't have the knowledge. That's why all these niggas broke when they get the money. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the publishing knowledge. They don't know what the, they don't know. They don't have the knowledge. I want the money in the knowledge. I'll sacrifice the money for the knowledge. 